we're back, back. we're back. Now this is a Thursday, so it's never um, quiet in the studio. Girls, boy, we planned this just right. They don't know how to behave with you two beautiful oh, ladies oh, in here. <laughs> Pass on the beans. Let's talk about the rodeo. There's a lot of things taking place. Of course, Miss Macy Estep and Leisha with us this morning. How are you guys? Good, you good. I asked you earlier, What's the biggest goofball uh, pickup line you heard from one of these cowboys? But you said there's well, been so many. Yeah, might, might have been from Jeff just a minute ago and he asked if he could be the rodeo king, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, busted. <laughs> He's in trouble now. No, Denny, he didn't. He's just teasing this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about the rodeo. Miss Debbie Blakely gave you strict instructions. We got to get through this and we got to get through it good. That's right. What's going on? Well, to kick off the rodeo, next Saturday, May 12th, is going to be our rodeo parade, and it's going to start at 2 o'clock, okay. and then um, from there, I mean, we've got events all week. Mm -hmm. uh, Monday is the Kids Day at Preston's Western Wear, where they're going to have um, pony rides and face paintings, and some of the queen contestants will be there, so the kids will get to meet the girls, okay. and then um, the street dance is Tuesday, and the queen contestants will be there, we'll model and dance, and so that'll be a good time, so everybody make sure you come out for that, and that starts at 7. And then um, Friday is a special needs rodeo, which is always a big deal. Oh, my favorite event of the year. It is. It's so good. And <laughs> so everyone needs to come out for that. And then the rodeo, of course, Friday night. And then um, Saturday we have a wonderful luncheon for the queen contestants. And then the rodeo that night to follow. So busy, busy week coming up. You know, up. for the 30th annual year for this, Sheriff Blakely has just made this into a full month-long event, it seems like, mm -hmm. from the parades and everything else. And it's always a great time. And I cannot believe Zach Green has not been to the rodeo. I am going to personally <laughs> drag him down there this year yeah. for sure. Well, let's talk about the luncheon as well. It's on Saturday, okay. the 19th, and it's at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's at Central Church of Christ in the Family Life Center. This is where the girls do their modeling, their speeches, their impromptu questions, and it's catered by Scott Curry, which is... Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> We've got great door prizes, and it's yeah. just a really nice event. It kind of lets everybody know what the Queen Pageant is about. You know, and, and ladies, and I say ladies because mostly ladies attend that. Um, Tony Gooch, I know, recorded right. or taped it several years ago, and I've had the pl uh, privilege of judging it a couple of years. And you know what? There's so much more that goes into it and what you girls have to go through mm -hmm. than you'd ever imagine. That's right. It is. Yeah, a lot of people think, you know, we just have to go and, look pretty just and look ride pretty. a horse yeah but there's a lot more to it you know we do interviews and have speeches and, and it um also, and like the like the boys were asking do you really have to ride a horse do you know, have to know how to handle a horse yes ma'am you have a horsemanship mm -hmm. pattern they give you ahead of time and then you memorize it and then you'll perform it and and then there's some tough questions. I was like, when Debbie asked me to judge one year, and um, I was like, I don't know the answers to these. <laughs> yes, How do I know if they're saying it right? <laughs> so that was really good. You guys yeah. have a lot of knowledge. And so much money goes into those outfits you wear mm -hmm. as well. For they're sure. They're beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, well, congratulations. Well, thank and, you. Yeah, I know Jamie asked you if you were going to be returning to Limestone County after this, and your I answer will. was? I've made a whole new family here, so <laughs> I'll be back for sure. All right. Well, great to see you both. Anything else we need to add before you go? This uh, if they're interested yep. in coming to the luncheon, tickets are available at the jail. You okay. have to call Jennifer McVeigh. They're $20. Mm -hmm. And it's a wonderful lunch, like mm -hmm. she said. It is. Yep. And then any girls who want to enter the contest, the deadline's next Thursday, so make sure you get your applications in. Why do you think it's important for girls to enter this at a young age? What do you get out of it? What do you teach them? Well, whenever I entered this, whenever I was little, mm -hmm. you know, I was so shy and I hated to get in front of people. I mean, I couldn't have sat here and got on TV right now. So it's really opened me up as a person, and I think yeah. you get lifelong skills out of it. You know, you interview, so you have job interviews. So I think lots of great things come out of it. That's great. I tell everybody I failed speech twice in high school. God has a sense of humor. <laughs> Look at my life now. <laughs> but thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back right after this.